In a time before the rise of the pyramids, the ancient world is invaded by a horde from the east, led by the merciless Memnon, who claims kingship by virtue of being their greatest warrior. Assisted by a sorcerer who predicts battle outcomes, Memnon dominates the lands, leaving only a few free tribes to oppose him. Matthias, Jessup, and Rama, the last remaining true Akkadians, are hired by King Farron of the Free Tribes to assassinate Memnon's sorcerer in exchange for twenty blood rubies. This angers Farron's son, Takmet, as it empties their treasury, and also displeases Nubian King Balthazar, who harbors a dislike for the Akkadians. The trio infiltrates Memnon's camp but falls into an ambush set by Memnon's guards, thanks to a betrayal by Takmet who killed his own father and joined Memnon's side. Jessup and Rama are struck by arrows, while Matthias manages to enter the sorcerer's tent, only to discover that the sorcerer is actually a sorceress named Cassandra. Matthias is captured and brought before Memnon, who brutally executes Jessup in front of him. Matthias' own execution is prevented when Cassandra intervenes, claiming that the gods want Matthias to live or else face their wrath. Matthias is sentenced to be buried up to his neck in the desert to be devoured by fire ants at dawn. However, he escapes with the aid of a horse thief named Arpid. Determined to complete his mission and avenge his brother, Matthias sneaks into Memnon's stronghold, known as Gamara. With help from a street urchin, he gains access to Memnon's palace. There, he briefly encounters Philos, Memnon's court magician, who conceals Matthias and directs him to the courtyard where Memnon is training. Matthias attempts to shoot Memnon from a watchtower but is compelled to save the street urchin from having his hand amputated by shooting the axe out of Takmet's hand. This alerts the guards to Matthias' presence, and he narrowly escapes Gamara. He accidentally went into the sorceress bathhouse and saw her wet and naked. Matthias used the drain to escape with the princess that led them to one of the city's public fountain. The sorceress quickly grabbed hanging clothes to cover herself, while Matthias escapes. Kidnapping Cassandra along the way, knowing that Memnon will pursue her. Cassandra initially tries to flee from Matthias and reveals that she has been a prisoner of Memnon since childhood. Sympathetic to her plight, Matthias offers her the choice to leave but cautions her about the dangers she may face alone. However, Memnon dispatches his trusted aide, Thorak, and a group of guards to capture Matthias and retrieve Cassandra. In a fierce battle amidst a sandstorm, Matthias eliminates them all, engaging in a duel with Thorak that ends with a fatal stab. Thorak manages to wound Matthias with a scorpion blood-laced arrow, but Cassandra uses her magic to save his life. As a defiant gesture, Matthias sends Thorak's blood-stained pendant to Memnon. Joined by Arpid and Cassandra, Matthias encounters Philos, who had fled from Memnon's palace and has perfected an explosive powder. However, they are ambushed by the rebel forces under Balthazar's command. Although Matthias defeats Balthazar in combat, earning his respect, Cassandra has a vision of Memnon and his army slaughtering the rebels. She prophesies that when Moonlight reaches Memnon's palace, he will transform into the invincible Scorpion King, believing himself destined to become the Scorpion King. She also foresees that Matthias will likely meet his demise if he confronts Memnon. Despite Cassandra's warnings, Matthias declares his determination to shape his own destiny, and he and Cassandra share a romantic encounter. The following morning, Cassandra returns to Memnon to stall him and potentially assassinate him. Memnon is doubtful if Cassandra still has powers since the rules of her power states that she loses it when she loses her virginity. He tested her gift of insight and she managed pass the test somehow. Meanwhile, Matthias, assisted by Balthazar, Arpid, Philos, and the rebel army, launches a full-scale assault on Memnon's stronghold. Matthias confronts Memnon just as he is about to kill Cassandra, while Balthazar engages Takmet, avenging his father's death. Balthazar valiantly faces the overwhelming forces of Memnon alone. In the midst of the battle, Matthias is shot by a guard, mirroring Cassandra's vision. As Memnon prepares to ascend to the house of Scorpio to become the Scorpion King, Matthias, with Cassandra's help, kills the guard and retrieves his bow. Despite his injuries, Matthias shoots Memnon, sending him off the rooftop to his fiery demise. Simultaneously, Philos and Arpid utilize the explosive powder to destroy the palace's foundation, causing the majority of Memnon's forces to collapse. Memnon perishes consumed by the flames. With the battle won, the remnants of Memnon's army kneel before Matthias, as per the Horde's law that deems the strongest warrior as the king. Matthias, now the Scorpion King, emerges as the victorious leader. In the aftermath, Matthias bids farewell to Balthazar, expressing mutual respect, as Balthazar returns to his own kingdom.
Matthias questions how Cassandra's powers are still present after losing virginity to him. Cassandra reveals that her ancestors made up that rule to prevent them sorceress to be used by their king. Cassandra reveals a vision of a brief period of peace and prosperity on the horizon but warns Matthias that it will not endure forever. Undeterred, Matthias asserts his commitment to forging his own destiny, and he and Cassandra embrace their uncertain future together.